Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to add series markers in our chart. So back in the docs, on tutorials, on uh, how to slash examples, we'll see that there is something called series markers. So if I go below, you can see that they have set up an example where they have used series markers. So series markers are used to add significance to any data point, they are specifying a special event at this data point. So we're going to see how we can add this in our chart. If I go top, you'll see that in order to add series markers, all you need is a markers array where you will have objects for each marker. And uh, the way you set markers is that you have a method called set markers, and inside of this method, you pass this markers array as the argument. And this object has some properties. The first is the time where you want to show that marker, the second is the position. So a marker can be uh, above the bar or below the bar. Then you can set colors to your marker and uh, then there is shape. So there are actually five shapes available. So here they're using circle. Uh, we have square and then we have down arrow and up arrow. We can also give it an additional property called text if we want to. So let's get back in our code and set this up. So back in our code, under initial data, I'm going to create a new array called the markers. And inside of this array, I'm going to create an object and uh, give it a property called time. So what should be the value of time? Let me go inside my initial data array and just uh, I'm just going to select a time I'm just going to copy a time value randomly. So our marker will be on that time. Let's paste it in here. Then we have position. So the position can be above bar. It's camel case, so be careful. Then we have color. Uh, this can be anything. Then we have shape. The shape can be circle. And then we have text. The text can be, let's say, sold. And sold. Okay. So, right. so down below, After I have set the data inside my series, I'm going to set the markers as well. So I want the markers to be on for the candlestick series. So let's say candlestick series dot set markers. And I'm just going to pass my markers array. If I view my chart now, yeah, so at February 28, we can see that our marker is showing. It is a circle and it's above the bar. So if I change the value to below bar, it's going to appear below the bar. So let's get back. Okay, so it is below the bar now. If I want to, I can change the shape as well. If I want to, I can make it square. So now it says square. Okay. And uh, even if I don't give this property text, still this should work. So 
yeah so it's it's still working but we're not seeing that text anymore so there are some more shapes so there is it's actually so there is up arrow You're not seeing that. So it's actually arrow up. So back in my chart. So it's see, yeah, it's now arrow up there is another property called size so if i pass this say 1.2 so my arrow should look bigger i can do something crazy say two see it's way bigger now okay so this is how we set a marker to some data point if we want to we can add more objects and uh, add more time from the initial data array so let's just uh, copy another time from our initial data array i'm going to minimize it once again let's paste it and this time i'd like it to be below bar Bar, and uh, I want its shape to be arrow down and uh, I'm just going to say bot so somewhere in this chart we now have bot so I want it above bar So it's now above the bar. So that is how we add markers in our chart. That's it for this video. Thank you.